Today we're taking a look at the Air TV and the Air TV adapter. Now, this is not the first time I've tested this out. Uh, back at CES in January, I played around with this device a little bit. It's released by Sling TV and their Air TV company. Of course, they're both owned by Dish. Basically, it's an Android TV box that launches into Netflix, has, or excuse me, launches into Sling, pardon me, has Netflix built into it. So in Sling, you'll see some Netflix recommendations. And it also takes your now your local over-the-air channels and with this adapter you can connect an antenna and have those channels appear right next to it. So you'll see ESPN right next to what's on your um, antenna channels for ABC, NBC, Fox, CBS, and so on. That way everything is all in one place, it's all manageable, but you also have full access to the Google Play Store. So Hulu and the list goes on and on is all available with that. We're going to do a little unboxing right here and then in this um, same video, I will come back and show you how the new interface works. Now, when it was first released, it did not have the full integration, like you probably saw on my YouTube video uh, from CES, where it had everything. But recently, in the last week or so, they did release the full update with integration that will allow it to offer everything in one spot. But let's start off quickly with remote. So it's a pretty decent remote. I mean, let's compare that in size to a Roku. This is the Roku Ultra remote right here. You can see it's thinner, but it's a lot wider. You do get the ability to have volume, mute, Netflix, Google. Um, you can favorite a show right there. You pull up info, go back to your guide, just control everything. It feels really nice, slight rubbery feel to it. It's plastic, but especially on the back, you get a slight rubbery fit, um, texture, so it feels good in the hand. Not very slippery. Hard buttons on here. Um, not much to say beyond that. Um, next up, you have the power cord. And the nice thing about this is it's a long power cord. I'm gonna say that's about six foot. I'm estimating there, eyeballing that, but it looks like it might be about a six foot power cord. Nice that they took some time to put some extra um, distance or um, length on that. Now, right off the bat, here's the device. As you can see, it's a pretty standard size device. Um, let me see if I can pull out this Fire TV I got sitting right here. Ah, it doesn't want to get unplugged. There we go. So let's compare that to the Fire TV. Right off the bat, you're going to notice not a huge difference, slightly bigger, slightly thicker, all the way around. Um, but on tabletop surface, it's not going to take up that much additional space on it than the Fire TV. So let's flip it over. Pretty typical Android TV uh, box here on the back. You have HDMI, digital audio out, two USB right here, Ethernet and power. And I believe that's the only ones. It's kind of cool. They did put a way to mount it. So you can put some screws in here. You can either mount it this way. You can mount it this way if you want to hang it on the wall, if you just want it sitting right here like this on the wall. Kind of cool if you want it. It looks like there, there's a button that says remote. I'm wondering if that um, repairs uh, pairs the remote again or if that's like a find my remote feature. I don't see, there's a microphone on it. I don't see any speakers. So I don't think it'll like beep remote. I bet that just repairs the remote if it gets disconnected. Um, real quick here, you get the, um, guide real on this. Pretty simple, straightforward, big images on it to set it all up. And lastly, a six foot HDMI cord. Um, feels pretty hefty. This feels a lot higher quality than some of the um, HDMI cords you get with Android boxes. So that's pretty nice. Let's quickly dive into the Air TV adapter. So this is the Air, oop. This is the Air TV adapter. That's it. That's all it is. Um, it just it plugs into the USB, plug your antenna in on that side, and it connects. Um, looks like it's self-powered off the USB, and there is an adapter here, which is pretty nice. You plug that there, and it just gives you a little bit more room to play with. Um, you know, the, the color of the cable is kind of nice. It's not black. They see it to definitely be doing a nice job to. Try to make this a little bit more stylish than your typical one. You do have a short manual right here that walks you through how to set it all up. Really not a lot of issue or uh, to say about it. It's a pretty simple process, but it's a pretty comp um, comprehensive looking guide there. So right off the bat, my first impression is it's a good quality device. The remote feels good. The quality feels good. Definitely, you know what? 
Um, a nice difference here, typically you see these black. It's kind of fun to see something that's a different color. Um, there are no current other color options though, so what you see, this is the color you're going to get. Well, let me go test this out, and we'll come right back and give you my full impressions. So I've been playing around with Air TV from Sling for a little while now. Been very impressed. Uh, first of all, with the setup, very easy. Log into Sling, log into Google, you're basically done. There is an option there for accessibility options, like um, voice menus and larger magnified text, which is great if you have any visual impairments. Um, that this device is compatible for that. Um, I plugged in the antenna adapter and I have just a little indoor antenna here in the office and it instantly ran channel scan, a very quick channel scan, much faster than if I did it through my LG TV and it pulled in 16 channels. I could get more by connecting it into my attic antenna or moving the antenna, but 16 channels is uh, exactly what I expected to get from this antenna where it's located in my house. Um, so that's pretty nice. You can add your over there channels to your my channels. I put CBS, CW, and ABC here. Just go into your edit screen here and scroll down until you find them and you'll be able to add or remove um, the channels right here. And of course, if you click on it, you can launch right into it. So let's jump into CW and let's go back here and let's jump into NBC Sports real quick. And you see, I was just on over there TV now I am on Sling TV, no difference. Your experience is identical. I couldn't tell you what was over there and what was Sling if I didn't know what they were. Um, the guide does put, let me cancel out of that, does put all of your over the air TV channels way at the end. Um, scroll way past everything. You see how fast this moves? It's a very nice, um, powerful box. So. As you can see, like here is my local Fox. It will show me everything coming up. Um, I can click on two and a half men, see what episode it was, when it's going to air. Um, uh, here's my ABC. Oh, again, you're going to see here, super quick to load in, and there's your local one. Let me back out here. There we go. As you see again, it's just going to show me everything that's coming up, and it uh, does a nice job of it laying out what's available here. Now it does have all the icons. If you notice ones that don't have it, that's typically like weather channels. This is my ABC's a local weather channel that just does a 24 hour stream of weather. Let me click on that real quick to show you. And some of these don't always include um, the channel icons, but all the main ones, even the smaller channels like the walk, all include that. Here's my network TVs, my local affiliate bounce, PBS and uh, PBS kids, it's all right here, which is really cool. But you know, there's a lot more to this device here. Let's go back to the home screen and check out the other really cool thing. So you got Netflix um, on this device also, on top of the fact that you have over there TV and sling capabilities. If I scroll down, you're gonna see, yeah, right here's Netflix. Uh, let's jump into Last Chance U. And it's gonna remember which spot I left off. Look how quickly that went from the sling app to the Netflix app. Kind of bump out here real quick and take a look at some of the stuff happening here. American Dad, let's hit resume. Look how fast this is playing. Very quick, very smooth. Let me go back to the home screen on Sling. There you go. Um, full Netflix integration, I just logged in. It puts my um, favorites and recommendations right here, which is kind of cool, it's all right there. You notice there's also a row for locals. All the locals are right there if you don't want to go through the guide. All your Android TV um, based app settings right here, sling settings, device settings, you're just gonna look like a pretty typical Android device menu networks, Google Cast, and so on. Um, the other cool thing about this device is the fact that it has a voice remote. Let's launch into that real quick. King of the Hill. King of the Hill. It was a little too quick. Now you notice here, since I'm in the Sling app, if voice searched Sling. So I'm able to like this show. There's two seasons here. Uh, let's randomly jump into one of the King of the Hill. This is the Adult Swim Cartoon Network On Demand. And you can see right there, I am watching On Demand King of the Hill. So that's pretty cool. It brings a very powerful voice search to um, Sling TV, which is very nice. Um, past that, this is really very similar to the actual um, Sling TV app. There's nothing real special, maybe a couple extra rows here, but it's all in the consistent Sling TV interface 
that you are used to. Um, and you know, you got all your, your sports guides here. You can see what movies are coming up. You can even filter them. Uh, for now, I don't want to filter them. Let's just kind of scroll through here. You see the new releases featured and so on. Across the top, uh, free from uh, free movies. So let's head back to the home screen there. Anytime you press the sling button, it goes to this home screen. So overall, two thumbs up, great little device, easy to use, easy to set up, um, very tough to distinguish if you're playing over the air or sling if you don't know which are which. Um, the Netflix integration works really well. So two thumbs up, highly recommend it. Who would I recommend this for though? That's a bigger question. If you're already all set up, you have your sling, you have your device and antenna and you're happy, there's no reason to get this. But I would get this for people like my parents. If you want a cable experience in your cord cutting world, this is it. This device is the closest thing to uh, cable integration of your over the air, your Netflix, and your sling all in one spot. My parents would be very easy to say, I want to watch, you know, the golf channel, but you know, I also want to be able to watch it when it's on CBS. He doesn't have to think about input, what device, what remote, it's all here all in one. It's also very good at the volume without having to do anything. Ask me if I wanted to program the volume it detected that I was connected to an LG TV. I said no, but it still effectively controlled the um, volume up and down. So highly recommend it. Think it's great. It does have the traditional Google interface. Oh, and it's going to pull us up. So I can do also search. Let me do one more here. Family Guy. So if I click on the Google one, you can see here, I, it will show me it's available for sale. It's available on Netflix and is available for sale on Google Play. And if you have any Android TV or if you ever use an Android TV, you're going to be very at home with this screen here to find what you want. So it's kind of cool that not only does it have the Sling voice search, it has the Google Assistant um, voice search, which is a nice little feature. Um, yeah, questions, comments, let me know. Otherwise, two thumbs up if you're somebody looking for a device that's going to take everything and put it in one spot. Uh, let me know. Otherwise, please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. It really does help us. You can find us at cordcuttersnews.com or on Facebook and Twitter. Just search for Cord Cutters News. Hopefully this video has helped you learn more about the Air TV.